Computational social science is a new multidisciplinary field of research and education. It combines technical skills, mostly computational skills, with the knowledge and thinking coming from social sciences. As we started using digital platforms and digital tools more and more in conducting our social behavior and social interactions, scientists noticed that we leave behind enormous amount of digital footprints of our day-to-day -day activities. They call it big data. By analyzing it, we can understand a lot more about our social behavior. I chose computational social science at UCD because um, I wasn't sure whether to do computer science or social science, so I decided to do both, basically. Also topple up the fact that UCD is one of the best colleges in Ireland. I think my favorite things about the course is that I get to do half computer science and half social science, and also the fact that half of the things I learned in computer science I get to incorporate in the social science side. For example, I do economics too. So every programming I learned in computer science classes, I can incorporate that into the course. Many universities have started introducing computational social science programs, but UCD is one of the very few which offers computational social science at the undergraduate level. And that's a very unique opportunity for students uh, in Ireland and across the globe to join UCD to study CSS from the beginning. Being a computational social science in UCD is great. You basically get so many options to choose from modules to classes. You get to know what you like and what you don't like. In computational social science program, we have two groups of modules. One group concern social sciences, in particular among the four topics of uh, sociology, geography, politics, and economics. Students get to pick two subjects and specialize in those two subjects. And then the other group are the modules that are offered by the School of Computer Science and Math and Statistics. And those are modules that deal with the computational element or aspect of the program. So after graduation, you can basically do a master's in sociology, a master's in economics, a master's in data science. A few friends of mine are doing master's afterwards. For me personally, I want to do internships or graduate programs. So right now I'm more interested in the cybersecurity programs. The third year of the program, students have this very exciting opportunity to either go abroad and have a term or two as an international student in a different country, or they can participate in an internship in one of the companies who are hosting our students as an intern. In my third year, I decided to do an Erasmus in Sweden. I was there for a semester and I learned uh, cognitive neuroscience over there at Lund University. And I think that was an amazing experience for me because one, it was the first time living alone so I got to be more mature as a person, I got to see a whole country by myself, and I think I came back a different person. Computational social science is a unique program to study because it's new. Of course, it has its own challenges. There are not many role models or models from previous years to look up to, but also at the same time, it's very rewarding because the students could be the very first graduates in a very new and exciting degree. That puts them in a very unique position in the job market and uh, also if they want to pursue and frame and shape this field of research.